Hi guys, here is a tutorial on Tractor and how to add a bunch of effects and some low and mid adjust to only one single MIDI controller button. So let me show you what this effect is. Right here, let me kick off some music. Right. One, two, three, four. As you could hear, it was quite a nice build-up effect, which can be useful in many cases, I guess. Um, so let me quickly go over to the settings in the controller manager. So there we go. What I did here is configured all these things to one single button. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to add in these things, I think you know how to find them with just using add in and effect units and select the buttons here, so you can do that by yourself I guess. Um, I just want to go over the buttons I configured just for this effect, so I can do effect, effect 1 selected here for the FX unit 2, so that's over here, I got the beat measure as you can see on effect 1 beat measure here and also here so that's configured uh, effect 2 I got the dark matter right over here effect 3 is empty no effect as you can see I left it open I was happy with the effect as it was right now so you can always add more things if you like but this is how I did it the dry weather adjust <coughs> what you want to do here is configure this for the dry wet and you have two things you need to configure first thing you want to do is make this dry wet increase when you hold down your button so let me show you if I press it and hold it by holding down the button it increases so that's what I did here button increase and put it on auto repeat then the other thing you want to do is put button direct and set it to zero because what you want to have is that it starts at zero every time you press the button or every time you want to kick in this effect so if I press it shortly right now you can see it resets hold it down it increases press it again and hold it down it starts from zero again I think you can see how it works knob one is the uh, value for the first effect so this is basically knob one here this bar I set it to a fixed value 0 0.500 I don't want to change this all the time I just want to keep this value all the time that's what worked for me then knob two is the value for your second effect this bar here and that's the one I want to increase over time as well so we have button increase again put it on auto repeat and what you want to do with this one the same as with the drive wet effect every time you press it you want it to start at zero so holding it down release it press it again starts back at zero and increases again right uh, button one and two is just to enable your effects so you need this to switch them on so we got button 1 for the first effect, button 2 for the second effect. So you can see if I press my MIDI controller button, the lights go on. When I release it, they switch off. So you need to set them to a hold only switched on when you hold down the button. So the last things I did was the mid adjust. So with the mid adjust, I also want to increase the mid adjust. When I release it, it should be jumping back to 0 0.500, 0 .500, which is back in the middle here. So I'm holding down the button, it increases. When I release the button, it jumps back. Right? And the last one is the low kill. So when I press it and hold it, it will kill the low. When I release the button, it switches off again. So that's basically all I did here. Um, what 
I did to make things easier for myself to find back all these things I configured just for this single button is to put a comment and sort them a little uh, that's up to you but I think it's way easier to find your stuff back in the controller manager just by sorting on the comment all right uh, I hope you like the tutorial and of course I hope you all use it um, and thanks for watching <laughs>